the Paul Leslie Interviews. Ladies and gentlemen, joining us on the Paul Leslie Hour is recording artist and singer Karen Allison. She's joining us to discuss her album of Rodgers and Hammerstein songs, Many a New Day. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Paul. It's a great pleasure. I wanted to kind of go back a little bit. Can you remember what your first exposure to the Rodgers and Hammerstein songbook was? Yeah, the first real tangible one is that I played Nellie Forbush in high school. <laughs> so, but I mean, as a kid, I watched the musical. My mom was a very, she loved the music of Rodgers and Hammerstein. And again, I played it in uh, Nellie Forbush in, in high school in California, Oakland, California. It was a real great experience. I kind of put put that music aside for a while and focus on other things and then rediscovering it has been a real joy. It may be hard to put into words, but what is it about this songbook that makes it so incredible to you? Well, I really love the lyrics very much. Of course, the melodies are so beautiful too, but in musicals, it's I feel hard to find stories and and lyrics that have perhaps deeper meanings. And so I find that Hammerstein's lyrics have some real deeper meanings than a lot of others might. In general, would you say that lyrics move you more than melody? That's very, that's one heart that's hard to put into words too. <laughs> <laughs> I think they both speak equally, sometimes more than others, but ultimately they're pretty, pretty equal. What was the inspiration to decide to do this album? I'm always looking for new themes, of course, for recordings and for programs, but I happen to be watching an American Masters program on PBS, and it was on Oscar Hammerstein. And I was just struck and very interested in his life story, but struck by what a great human being he was. And then revisited, I ended up re ordering the box set of the DVDs and contributing to PBS, which I do anyway, but in that way. And so I, I got them and I started watching them and thinking, wow, this music, I haven't heard it lately by many jazz artists um, or pop artists for that matter. And so I started to delve in that way. We're speaking with Karen Allison. We're talking about her album, Many a New Day of Rodgers and Hammerstein Songs. Tell us about Kenny Barron, who plays piano on this album. <laughs> Kenny Barron, royalty <laughs> of jazz, of the piano, I should say. He's such a, a consummate musician. I've been wanting to include Kenny in a project for a long time. And we happened to be on the same festival a couple years back. And reconnected and I got, we got each other's information. I asked him then if he'd ever be interested and he said yes. So when this project came to my mind, I felt he would be perfect for it if he would be willing and he was. So, And he's so versatile and adds such elegance and soul to everything he plays. I knew that he would be the one for this recording. And on bass, it's John Patitucci. Right. Tell us about the addition that he made to the album. I first worked with John on my CD ballads, remembering John Coltrane, and that was my first Grammy nomination, along with lots of the beautiful players on that CD. But John, I just realized in the studio how what a great addition he was. He would have very helpful. I mean, when you when you hire musicians to play on your recordings and live, you're hoping that they'll add things that, of course, aren't on the paper. And that's what these wonderful players do. That's what we all do. And these guys did that. They had wonderful ideas to add to my arrangements. And John always is a beautiful addition to any project. What kinds of things were going through your mind as you were singing these songs in the recording studio? I really was very, very intent on the purity of the music and the lyrics. Now, having said that, I took some liberties, but I'm pretty faithful to the original melodies and, of course, the lyrics. I'm not perfect, <laughs> but but I tried my best to have an approach that did this music proud and these composers proud. When someone listens to this album, what is it that you hope the listener gets out of the experience? I hope they get joy. I hope they get some kind of meaningful, meaningful joy. There are good messages in it. There's there's hope. There's also a little 
a little bit of twang of um, mischievousness, but I hope they basically just get joy. I wanted to talk about a few of the tracks on this album, Many a New Day. My personal favorite, if I can editorialize a little bit, I really like I Have Dreamed. Yes, that's a gorgeous melody and a gorgeous lyric. I agree. I pretty much just like to take a bath in that one. <laughs> it's really kind of a perfect piece of music. And my, my producer, Michael Lenhart, reminded me of the verse, and I had never heard the verse. And so I did some research on that and heard Miss Doris Day sing it, and she did a beautiful job. She's a wonderful singer. And so we added the, the verse to that, and then a very simple but and sparse, my arrangement was intentionally sparse, and Kenny takes an absolutely beautiful solo on it. It may be difficult to do, but since I just mentioned what the track that I particularly liked, could you pick a favorite on this album? Ooh, that's that is difficult. I mean, I really, I really love "I Have Dreamed" too, but I like "Carefully Taught" a lot. I like "I Can't Say No," which is so much fun to do. I don't have just one. I'm afraid. I like "Oh Beautiful Morning." I mean, I, it's just they're fun to sing. They, they truly are. There are just some incredible, incredible songs here. Why is it that you do what you do? (laughs) There's a good question. It's as if I don't have a choice. Uh, I have other interests, of course. But why do I do what I do? Because I'm driven to make music. And I love the audience. I think this music draws a very interesting group of people, including the musicians who, who are my family. So... It's very gratifying. The business end of it can be grueling. The travel can be grueling. But the music is always worth it. You just mentioned the audience, and you said it's an interesting audience. Could you describe the audience? Well, I can try. They're pretty eclectic. But I think that the average jazz audience member is perhaps interested in something that is a lot less repetitive than a lot of the popular music that's out and something that is creative and that lends improvisation and opens your mind up to creativity. And then also just enjoying it and having a, a great sense of humor. So that's what I see. Do you see jazz as something that is thriving or do you think jazz is something that is kind of fighting for its way? I see it both. I see it thriving and I see it fighting, and that's a great point. I just attended the Grammys. I had a, my fifth nomination, and attending the after the televised part, it's frustrating to not see jazz very appreciated in our society, especially the American society. I mean, my friend Sheila Jordan always says that jazz is a stepchild of, of American music. And she's not the only one that feels that way, of course, but but it's certainly thriving. I can say that. But we're always we're always striving for a larger audience. I I feel that if it were more widespread and available, that a lot of lot more people might really be it. It would have a larger audience. What is the best thing about being Karen Allison? <laughs> well. I'm a very lucky person. I'm a hard worker, but I'm very lucky. I'm free. I'm healthy. I get to make music for a living. Again, it's not for the faint of heart. And I have a beautiful family, and I'm happy. For anyone who's listening to this interview, wherever they are, what would you say to them? Totally (laughs) open-ended. Oh, I think one thing I would say is that we, we strive to make a life and not just a living. I did a TEDx talk, and that was the theme of our our presentation, and that holds true. It's not always about a payday. It's about making a life and making a positive difference on this beautiful planet. My last question, who is Karen Allison? <laughs> well, I feel maybe the former answer might or response might have been involved with that, too. I don't know. I'm I'm somebody who really loves to have a great time, to relax, although I'm very driven. I've discovered that. I didn't really know that about myself until recently, but it's just what I I do. I get up every day and and do this stuff. It's not always it's a lot of business, but it's also a lot of a lot of pleasure. So, I'm a nature girl. I really love nature, 
environmentalist. I leaned the way left in politics, so that's who I am. Well, thank you very much for sharing with us. I've enjoyed this album a great deal. Well, I appreciate it, and you're, you're a sweetheart. You've, you've asked some very interesting questions and, and not so typical, so I appreciate that. makes me think, too. <laughs> well, thank you kindly. All right, Paul. You take good care, my friend. All right. Till next time. All right. Bye-bye.